What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Uh, so, four potential places I need to explore that I've noted down. We have the Lake of Un, which, if I get some kind of long dash or flight, I think I can keep going. Uh, this spot right here below the Lake of Un, which I need the same thing. And then this third one, uh, the, the southernmost, I need that double jump. And then over here, that, that the stone sanctuary right below the hunter, I need a light source for that. So, instead, we are going to make our way back over to the Forgotten Crossroads, and we're going to start filling out the areas over there that we have not done because we just didn't have access to Dash. And I know I just had my map open, and I'm terrible for this, but... Out of here. Alright, so I just want to go up left right and there's a bench i'm gonna want to hit while i'm up there i know i could go to the the new zone the bubble zone but i mean the very first spot of the bubble zone there was that thing that uh that black stream whatever it is so god damn this thing is on my on my dick um i don't know how to get past the Actually, I've never been this way either. I don't know how to get past that black stream, so I'm guessing that's some other power that I gotta find. There might have been more to that area uh, to explore as well that I just didn't bother looking at. You know, I wouldn't say it's needed, but I would really like a, a mini map here because I can check my map at any time. Um, but being able to have it overlaid on the screen, I think that would be super useful. I'm trying to remember if you can do that in Salt and Sanctuary or not. I don't remember what what game it was, but I know it's, it's one of these... Uh, 2D, like, Souls-like platformers that there's... Oh, God. There's an option to, like, overlay a partially translucent minimap on the screen while you're running through. More games need that. Bench up top. That's one thing I need to start doing a lot more of, is I need to... Even if I don't need the rest, I need to hit benches every time I have the opportunity to. Because getting sent back to middle of fucking nowhere... Not fun. And that was just, uh... Geo. Just, uh, okay, so we are in dirt mouth now. Um, let me go by Wormy real fast. Oh, God. King or the Elder Worm. Man, I desperately need to make my way back to town. This is a lot of Geo to be carrying, I feel like. Uh, so 
down a good bit. Not there, but here. No, wait, isn't this where I... No, I want to go down even more. Down to the next drop. No! That's where I wanted to go. This, I think I needed my... Okay, this is... Um... Hang on. Um, so, let me make a note. And that's gonna be like a flight type thing. Uh... So two below the worms, I need a, a wall bounce or flight. Okay, and then there's more if I keep going. I go down to the next area, there's another drop to the left. Wasn't there a bench like right around here? There was. You grab that real fast. Thought it was right here. Is it up higher? Or, no, maybe it's just referring to the bench that's like inside of her place. Yeah. Do you have other powers for me? Ran on in, man. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that we're done with her because she literally says, don't worry, I don't need anything else from you. We're gonna hope that is not a secret message and we're actually done. I can pass this area now that I have dash. Just a wormy over here. I feel like I don't even need dash for this. I probably could have done this before. Okay, so that's cleared. Um, could keep swing, keep going down. that referring to another bench that's over here. I might as well get it. Might as well get it. A bench is a bench. Oh, this is, is this one of those hot spring things? Yeah, it is. Cool. All right, so we got a hot spring and we have a bench and we're gonna work our path downward, downward and left. I think it gives you a region. If it is a regen, it sure doesn't regen very fast. Looks like there's a town this way. Is that, I hear a glowing sound, it's weird. It's a ground pound path. Um, where do we want to do this? Uh, wall bounce flight. I'll say ground pound. 
Um, bottom left, uh, crossroads spa, we'll call it. And then there was another one of those up top near the, um, back near the, the nummy nummy girl. I don't know her actual name, but she's always like, bum, 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 num, ni, um, me. Bum, 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 bum. All right, fungal wastes. This doesn't seem too bad. Three hits to kill something. Um, I want to finish mapping out this whole zone, but I think we would go here. Well, I don't know. The other area wasn't too bad either. It's just, I don't know how I would have gotten past the, uh, that black stream. So let's go all the way across. I went through there. jump to get higher there. Alright. Map. Fungal wastes. Uh, zoom out. So I could go to the fungal wastes from here or from over there I could go to uh uh, didn't I don't have a map for the area so it's not gonna show up um it's up here let me just do that real fast while I'm right here So yeah, this is a multi-dash room to rescue little guy. Ass beat. Monies. Oh, he's just went out of it. Oh God. Jabba. 
Come in, sweetling. Come in and make yourself at home. I'm Salbra, and this is my cozy little charm store. Did you townsfolk out there tell you to come and visit me? Mm, yes, this lovely little village, warm and intimate and full of life. What are you talking about? Charms. I can see you've started your own collection. Very nice. I'll show you some of my own. You can take one home if you'd like. All right, so this is the merchant that people spoiled for me already, but uh, that bright blue liquid lifeblood, it's a bit of a taboo, but it does make you feel healthier. Seeps lifeblood and will certainly improve constitution. So it's like bonus health. Um, long nail sounds awesome. Steady body. Stay firmly in place when swinging your nail. So I think this stops you, uh, your body bouncing when enemies hit you. Spell boost. Probably charge faster. Charm notch. Oh, once you own five charms, I'll sell it to you. 10, 18, 25. Okay. Um, help you to focus. Just want to check. I think focus is where I'm. Yeah, that's that's my charge to heal, so I could basically quick heal. Um. I mean, I got I got enough money to buy everything. Spellcast nukes sounds useful, but at three, I'm not sure. Let's do the long nail. Maybe that's good. And we can get the charm notch. Um, one, two, three, four. Hmm. I don't really want to spend all my money with this guy. Let me see. Let me get a feel for long nail. So, all right, hang on. If I am at... I need to get a baseline here. All right, so right now my head is even with his building, and I am... Just barely falling short of the second door. Let's see if I put on... Oh, I gotta open up the bench menu. Alright, so from here... Oh. Just trying to get... So it's about halfway through. I'm, my range is like halfway past that sign. All right, now it's like the whole sign. So it's a slightly longer reach. I mean, longer reach is... You know, reach is reach, as far as I'm concerned. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four. I have exactly five right now. Mm -hmm. Lashes out. Boulder show. I really want. I want something that just sucks in Geo. <laughs> So this probably gives me an additional lifeblood heart. That seems too situational. Um, I don't know. Steady body almost seems detrimental. This this reminds me of like rock steady armor. So it could be good, but also the lack of you bouncing away could result in a multi hit maybe. So I'm not sure. Boosting spells sounds badass, but at a three cost, it's kind of like yikes. And same with this quick focus. I'm kind of like eh. I really want the fast cast. I want the notch. The notch is just what I want. Um, but I need five more. One, two, three, four. So even if I blew all of my money buying his charms, I wouldn't be able to to afford it. Yeah, I think long nail was was the right upgrade. Because I'm still kind of potato with my timing a little bit. Oh, what's up? You wield your nail like a club. MZ, how much deeper do we have to go? Who are you? Old village, strange dream to have led me down here. If you hadn't found me, I don't think I would have ever woken. Sly, usually I live an uneventful life in dirt math here, and these ruins doesn't agree, so I best be going back. Probably the friendliest face left there, and I can properly thank you for your good deed. All 
right, this dude's probably like the blacksmith because he's all like, oh, you have your nail. Nail, I'm wielding the nail. Is this, did I come down this way? I don't think I did. No, was this... Yeah, I did. Was this where I was fighting all of the... Hmm. Is this a station? A door with an open slot. Okay, this is like a tram system. So I found a tram system. All right, yeah, long nail was a solid upgrade for sure. Hit both of those things at the same time, hitting the guy from farther away. Look over here and then go back. only a tiny upgrade but god man this extra range is just like fuck yeah let's go no longer will stuff boot me while i'm trying to to cast um this is all i mapped well either way i don't have my compass on anyway so it's not like i can town this way Found an elevator. That shit mark on my map. Alright, we'll make our way back. There's some stuff up top that I didn't get to explore. You know what? Let's we're we're at 23. Let's go back to town and get all that figured out. See what the because I think that if that guy is a uh, God, oh, hold on. oh hang on, let me let me rest first, update the map, and check. Okay, so the transit system is denoted, the elevator room is denoted, and that area that that ends is also denoted. So there's two other areas I haven't explored. One of them needs the ground pound. One of them I think needed the dash. Uh, yeah. Let's go back first. Cause I really, I really want one more, one more thing so I can have the, the compass on. I mean, obviously I can just toss on the compass as I need it, but that's still less than ideal. Shopkeeper's coming home. Just wandered back in. I hope Grand Tales was time below. Almost nothing. Maybe it was too much. My charity drives a hard bargain. No competition. That's the problem. Bad for the market now that he's complaining. Let's see what we got over here. Do you have anything? I oh, know this is the it's the station. Ah, <sighs> ba 
Ah, for nada. These are just markers. Who needs to buy markers when you have a trusty notebook to write things down? Right, old thing, merely a fragment still. Maybe you can make some use of it. Piece of a soul vessel. You know, those ghastly looking orb things. All right, so I probably, I don't know what the mask, actually, you know what? It's probably a three piece thing. Like I probably need, because looking at my own vessel, I probably need like three different, three or four different things. And then it'll increase one of my, my, uh, my healths. For a variety of locks. Yes. Gathering swarm is a must. Um, this charm grant you more time to recover after taking damage. Light to guide your way or friend will stay by your side. Why not take both? All right, that's what I need to go to the dark place. So I feel like I should, damn, that's a lot. I need, I need like boss geo to afford that. Um, as stupid as it sounds, I kind of want to buy a bunch of charms to get the charm slot. So if you need to escape from a tight spot, more time to recover after taking damage. So it's like longer recovery iframes. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, Cause I want, so here's, here's the problem, right? I, I want swarm. I want compass. I need. I need notches, man. I need more notches. <laughs> Give me more notches, because I like long nail too much. I would take long nail over soul catcher. I think. Um, but gathering swarm sounds super useful. The question is, if I want to buy more to get more notches, if I want to save to get the lantern. I think saving to get the lantern is probably the better bet. Because that that lantern zone i mean you know maybe the lantern zone just has a charm upgrade waiting for me plus it'll be good to have i mean I'm, I'm sure that there's more than just that zone that require a light so i think i'm gonna save up to get that sooner than later what about that one that fell Oh, that's so fucking nice. Oh my God. I was just like, you know, testing, testing the extremes of it. It's straight. It is like a screen wide vacuum. Look at that. It's little, little, uh, it's like little, uh, little bugs carry it to me. That's so good. Yeah, that's staying, that is staying on. That's a, this thing stays on the Empire playthrough type thing. All right, actually that light will be good right here as well. I think I went through that area partially. And then I think... Where's the Wormy at? I hear Wormy. Who's, who's in prison to Wormy? Wait, right there. That sounded like it was... Yep, that's it. Lay Wormy alone! Something that I couldn't explore. Get out of here, Havelbug. Yeah, we're, we'll farm up and we'll get our light. I don't think it takes up charm slots either. And I, 
This is the nummy nummy girl. Nummy nummy. I want to say nummy nummy girl led to the ground pound area. Yeah, so we can't go that way. All right, so with where we are at, um, we don't have monorail access. We can't open that key. We don't have nummy nummy. We either need the light. Let me see. So places we need light is uh, above monorail. Um, let me just make a light above monorail. So the light I need for Stone Sanctuary and below the monorail. Um, I need wall bounce or flight for the area that was below the worms. I need ground pad for the bottom left of the crossroads near the spa and by Nummy Nummy Girl. I need long dash or flight for the lake and then below the lake and I need high jump for the double area below the lake. <laughs> So, this leaves me with two potential areas. Either I can go down there, down like below the ancestral mound, or I can go back here and go down below green path. So, I think we're gonna go down there. Because if I go down there, that'll probably lead me back to that elevator system, I'd imagine. That seems likely. So, we'll, we'll get to the bench. And then uh, we'll wrap up there. I mean, I could get by without the compass, but compass is, it is useful, you know. I mean, could I navigate without it? Sure. Is it gonna save me a bunch of time? Yes, definitely. Um, think what bench I want to use. Oh, of course, the bench by the, the bench by the spa, so. All right, I am going to wrap up here. Um, so I got a good bit of running to do here. I'm just going to make my way. Ah, God damn it. Um, I'm going to make my way all the way back to the spa if I don't die first. Jesus Christ. Um, so I'll get back over there, and then the next episode we'll resume from the spa bench, and we'll probably make our way down. So stay tuned, and I'll catch you guys then.